Hi everybody, in this video today I'm going to show you how to lay the foundations of a, for a PHP powered website. In our website, when a user enters the URL, let's say learngolf.com, the user's browser sends a request to a request from a tool server called the host to display the contents of learngolf.com. Some hosts are paid, but the one I'll show you today is free and just as good as many paid hosts. We also will need to install a code editor to make coding easy and a tool to send our files to to the host via protocol called PFTP. So without further ado, let's begin. Um, we're going to open Firefox. Now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get signed up for this host. It's free and it's pretty easy. However, I must warn you that when you build a once you sign up for your website, you have to wait maybe like a day or half a day for them to verify your account, but it's a breeze. Unless you're really inappropriate namings. So, let's begin. Now we have 000 web host. That's the name of my host. Woohoo. And now to sign up, we're going to press order now. Kind of weird, but anyways. Yeah. So, 00 web host. Now, order free web hosting, right? Yeah, cool. Now, I want to host my own web domain. I don't. I don't have a domain. Or I will choose my own free subdomain. Uh, yeah. I mean, see, mine is .herobo.com. It's going to change. It can be up, down, or whatever. It changes all the time. So I'm going to call it um, PHP is cool. But anyways, I already made this stuff. So you can sign up, do all that, enter your security code, and then back, right? So now um, we're going to sign in, right? Because I already signed up for my account, but anyways. Now we have and uh, sorry, this is my first video, so I don't know all the tricks. Okay, so now um, where it says list of your domains. For you, it's gonna say activating. It takes about six, twelve, maybe even twenty-four hours. Now pick a domain. Uh, for me, you probably. I have a couple of them. I'm gonna pick Sule.netow.net. It's pretty much empty. I used to use it. Now I'm gonna go to cPanel. That's the control panel. Now in the control panel, what we need to do is we need to get something called FTP details. So we're gonna go to account details. Wait. That's gonna say name server details if you know if you host the domain. Website details. Cool information. And then file up those details. Makes sense, right? File up those details. Then remember I was talking about a protocol called FTP? Here we go. So we have the host name is sule.natal.net. Username is this and password is opjr8. Anyways, so now we need to. Now we're ready. See it says recommended FTP clients. Let's go. Now we need to download an FTP client which can upload our files. So when a CP very good one. I mean, some people will recommend others, but I think this one does the trick. So, winacp.net. Right? And we're back. Uh, yeah, it took a while to load. My connection really is rubbish. Now, yeah, winacp 4.27. It's probably going to give you a different release, but whatever. Now, go to download page. What you're going to want to pick is installation package. Download that, run the installer, big bang room. I already installed it, and I don't want to waste time doing it. So, it's a pretty steep, straightforward. Now, let's just pretend I did all that installation crap, and we're going to go to my desktop. Now, in my desktop, pretty, <laughs> default, back. Now, we're going to pick WinSCP, right? Yeah, that's my protocol. Now, back. Sorry, my computer's really slow. When I get back to my house, it's going to be much faster, I might even... I probably might even redo this tutorial. But this will make shift for now. Now you see I have already this thing called iPod. Yeah, I jailbroke my iPod and I can set the in it, but that's not important. Now we're gonna go to new. And now you see it says host name and username. When you remember this stuff? Yeah. Comes to sulay.netow.net. Sort of for you, whatever your address is. Now we're gonna go to WSP. Host name. Sulay.netow.net. Now we're gonna go back to our Firefox. Username, right, is A27 blah blah blah. I don't know why they generated, but oh well, what can you do? 
You're not gonna be messing with these username and password much anyways. You can change the password later. And you can find that out. I think I know how, but anyways, it's not important. It's safe to have a generated one anyways, it's very hard to crack. Good. And FTP password. Password, voila. Now you see private key file, that's rubbish. And then you see it says file protocol SFTP, you can keep that. I really we're using FTP, right? So pick that. Now we are going to press save. That's if you want to save, you can save password, that's not recommended, but who cares? Saves time. And then we're gonna do Sulay's PHP tutorial server. Right? Now okay. Now well, we save that. You see, we got all the file upload details and everything. Now, um, we are going to double click on that. Right? And we double click on it and we are, we are waiting. Connecting to sule.netal.net. Oops, I entered the wrong password. I'm afraid. I'll just copy the. Oh, maybe it's my other password. Because I think this is kind of screwed up messed up now let's see if this one works I think I copied it wrong or something but anyways now it's connected waiting for what wrong password this on my computer for you we're back and voila and make sure you don't put any space when you're sword it's a bit of a pain voila now you see this when it's a B it might look a bit confusing but look you can drag and drop files voila but anyways for now you can mess with that later screw up whatever that you want now, that's what's the idea of it. Now we see we have a folder called public HTML, right? That's where you store all your files. So now wait. Now, actually, I already have some stuff on this website, I realized. <laughs> Forgot to check it. But you see, I have photos, and uploads, folder, and stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is, this is a terrible example, but... Um, okay, now we see we have index.php, right? This is, I'm going to explain all this stuff to you next time. I'm going to clean up this stuff too. But now, quickly, you need to go to this website. It's called Google It. See? I mean, just like you, I Google things. I'm not that prepared, after all. So, Notepad++, and then, in plus.org. Voila. Now we have this pretty gecko thing. Now it says, download. So, download. Now we're gonna do this release at sourceforge.net or pick one of these. I'm gonna pick text family just for the heck of it because it might be easier. But nonetheless, pick installer.exe and save file and install. It's wicked easy, wicked fast, wicked mad. Now, quickly, I don't have much time left. We need to go to a remote. No, no. I'm gonna go options, preferences. Back. Uh, now we're here. Now we have environment, blah, 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 editors. You see it says internal editor, and then there's notepad. Nope, what Notepad++ is, it's like, it highlights lots of important details for you as a programmer. So it makes l n debugging and making and checking errors pad. So now we install, I'm judging you install Notepad++. I'm going to go to add external editor, bros. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're back. And then we're gonna go to desktop. Actually, no, I don't have it. I don't think so. So we're just gonna go. Then we have notepad.exe. Cha-ching. Double click on notepad.exe. Don't know why they came from. Okay. Cha-ching. Now we're gonna make that up, because that's the priority. Now, okay. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Now let's double click on index.php. And we're back. Now you see, I use WordPress, so you see this crap? Hello. Yeah, I'm so original. I'm gonna write, hello world. Now remember, semicolon. Say that. Now watch the magic. I'm gonna go to sule.netau. Net. And. Dun, 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 dun. What the hell is that? Okay. Never mind that. I'm so unorganized. But yeah, it's gonna print, hello world. Hopefully, and that should do the trick. Thanks everybody for watching my tutorial, and be sure to watch the next tutorial in line 
which is how to program PHP, the very basics. And please ask, leave any comments necessary. And if you have any questions, leave any qu comments or even send me a private message. And if you really like my videos, and you should. You might be interested in subscribing to me. Thanks so much for being a great viewer and have a good day. Bye.